Aftermath of the shooting attacks in Orlando, Dallas, Baton Rouge, and elsewhere, one UF student is trying to make a difference and save lives. Andrew Bloomfield is an engineering student who has created this, a ballistic shield that would protect people from bullets fired from an AR-15 and possibly other assault-style weapons. Channel 4's Heather Lee spoke with Bloomfield about his invention. Bloomfield has been testing this with different types of weapons and bullets to see exactly how much this shield can take and handle. He is confident, though, that this could save lives and protect them. And he says right now he's still in the research phase trying to raise money for additional research and supplies to make it happen. Torn between being proud of his invention and being disgusted that something like this is needed to protect lives in active shooter situations. Andrew Bloomfield believes it's the new reality. It's important because these kinds of things are happening far too often. I mean, we have situations where people are, are in these kinds of scenarios and they, they can do absolutely nothing to protect themselves. His idea to create a ballistic shield that can protect against certain rifle rounds came shortly after the shooting at Pulse nightclub in Orlando. With a flip of the latch, it opens right up. Hence the colors of his prototype. It's meant to be a uh, portable, concealable uh, shield for a situation of aggression, right? So if somebody, if you feel threatened, you can pull it out. It's something you can keep on you or something that could be put in a strategic place to be used in a scenario like this. But what if it were to get into the hands of a shooter? Bloomfield says it does not protect against armored piercing rounds, which is commonly used by police departments and SWAT teams. It, some terrible scenario where a shooter was able to coerce someone into protecting them. It, it's not completely undefeatable. It's just meant to stop the most common threats. He believes not only will something like this save lives, but he says it could also act as a deterrent to make shooters think twice about pulling out a gun. There's the old uh, argument that, well, you never have a shooting in a gun store, right? Because no one's going in to shoot people with a bunch of guns. Uh, people target these places because they know they're going to kill a lot of people without any resistance. Bloomfield says he's still trying to raise money to make these on a mass scale. Right now, he says uh, his, his current model would cost around $200 and it would go up from there. But he is continuing his research to try and bring that price down, make it a little bit more affordable and also a little more lightweight. If you are interested in helping Bloomfield with his research or help him with those supply costs, you can go to our website. We posted some information there. There, and that is newsforjacks.com. Heather Lee, Channel 4, The Local Station.